In this video, I'm going to show you how to start building your pages using Optimize Press. Building pages in Optimize Press really is a two-step process. First, using the built-in Optimize Press page builder, you're going to create your page and then choose a basic layout or template for your page. Once you've done that, the second step is to use the built-in drag and drop live editor to add the specific elements you want on your page and then edit and customize them however you'd like. So in this video, we'll look at the first step, the page builder. So let's take a look at how to start creating your pages. The first thing you need to do is launch the page builder. And you can do that from wherever you're at in your WordPress admin area by browsing to Optimize Press and Page Builder. When I click on Page Builder, it's going to open up the page builder here in a light box. Now we just need to start following the on-screen instructions. So I'm going to name the page. We'll call it Demo1. And then you're going to have a couple of different options. The first option is you can choose to start building your page with a blank page. This will allow you to choose from our basic layouts for landing pages, marketing or sales pages, and membership pages. You'll then be able to create and customize your page to look however you'd like using that drag and drop live editor. The other option you have is to create your page using a content template. This is where we have a ton of pre-built templates already created for you. These will save you tons of time and will allow you to quickly create really professional looking pages in a very short amount of time. So let's first take a look at the option for starting with a blank page. I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to click on blank page and then I'll scroll down and I'll click proceed to step two. Now notice across the top here in the page builder it's showing us where we're at in the process. On this page, what we want to do is select which type of page we're trying to create. Are we trying to create a landing page, like a squeeze page, or a webinar registration page? Or are we looking to create a marketing or sales page? Or are we looking to create a membership page? Let's say what you're wanting to build here is a sales page. I'll select this and I'll click proceed to step three down here at the bottom. This is where we'll select the basic layout of our page. And here you'll see we have some different options. We have a full width page, we have a page with a border, we have a page with framed in content, and we have a raised header. And you'll notice you can click on the magnifying glass to see a quick preview of each layout. I'll select template style 1, and then I'll scroll down and click proceed to step 4. This is where we'll be able to set some basic settings for our page, including layout options, like do we want to use a header or not, do we want to have a footer area or not. We'll also be able to make some changes to the color scheme of the page. And we can look at specific on-page functionality, like is this page part of a launch funnel? Do we want to set an exit redirect? Is it a one-time offer page? Those types of things. But let's go over to layout. We'll choose to use a header. And if I scroll down, you'll notice it's actually pulling in my default settings that I set earlier on in the process when I installed and configured my general settings or my global settings. So it's got my logo already, it already has my background color. Now I can change these. If I want to change these and overwrite those default settings on a page-by-page -page basis, I can right here. So I'll keep everything else as it is. Let's now click Save Settings. And what happens is, our page is now created, the basic layout settings are in place, and we are launched into the live editor which is where we can start adding elements. You'll notice it's a blank page. It has our header and basic layout settings that we would have set up in the page builder in place. And now we can start adding the different elements that we want to have on this page. And we do that with the live editor. Now I'm going to show you the live editor in another video. But for now, that's how you would use the blank page option. Let's look at the other option where you can use pre-built content templates to get a faster start on your page because I think you're really going to like that. So let's close out of the live editor. Let's create another page to use one of the content templates with. So I'm going to come back over here to Optimize Press and Page Builder just like before and I'm going to create a new page. So I'm going to name this one Demo2. And then instead of the blank page option I'm going to select the Use a Content Template option which opens up these other options down here below. Now you have a lot of really great pre-built pages that you can use as your starting point for your page. And they're all different kinds of pages. You'll see here is a home page ATM page. You have lots of different opt-in page templates, sales pages, 
And you'll notice these are modern updated designs, by the way. And I mentioned earlier webinar registration pages, and here are some templates you can use to set up those pages. Now what you're seeing here is just the start. There are actually a lot more templates that are going to be added very soon. But remember, these are just a starting point. You can customize these if you'd like to. The point with these, though, is that they look really good right out of the box. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Let's choose a template. Let's choose the... We'll choose this template. And I'll scroll down to the bottom and click Proceed to Step 2. Now what this does immediately is it launches us into the live editor. Now we're going to go through the live editor in another video, but I just wanted to show you how much time you can save by using these pre-built content templates. If I click Show Hide Controls, you'll notice this page already looks really good. Using the live editor, now you'll be able to go in and get rid of elements you don't want, move elements around as you'd like just by dragging and dropping, you can even go into the different elements and edit them to be exactly what you want with your text, changing out text size, text color, fonts, everything you'd want to change. So just a quick review. You can get to the page builder from anywhere within your WordPress admin area by browsing to Optimize Press Page Builder. When you click Page Builder, it's going to launch in a light box the page builder. You then follow the on-screen instructions to name your page, and then you can select to start from a blank page or to start by using a content template. Once you've gone through the page builder using either one of these two options, as we've seen in this video, you're launched into the live editor. And that's what I'd like to show you next, because that's where the real power of Optimize Press comes in. I'll see you in the live editor video.